Petroleum refineries are one of industry's largest water users. For every gallon of product a refinery produces, one to two and a half gallons of water are used. For the 800 million gallons of products U.S. refineries produce each day, one to two billion gallons of water are used. Petroleum refineries are complex systems. No two are alike. Each has its own refining processes and treatment systems for managing the large volume of wastewater produced each day. Many refineries utilize surface impoundments as settling basins to separate solids from wastewater. Over time, these basins become filled with oily sludge. When full, or are no longer needed because of improvements to a refinery's wastewater treatment system, these basins must be closed. One process that has been used to successfully close many surface impoundments at refineries across the U.S. is solidification stabilization. The process entails mixing sludge with reagents such as cement, lime, pozzolans, or combinations of these reagents to convert the saturated, oily sludge into a solid, less permeable monolith. The West Texas Refinery Project is an example of rice environmental solidification stabilization expertise. To solidify the oily sludge in a large surface impoundment within the refinery, Rice used a specially designed injector to mix the sludge with solidification stabilization reagents. Reagents are delivered to the site in pneumatic trucks and offloaded using air pressure. A combination of pressure and assist air suspend the reagents in an air stream that flows through holes directly to an injector attached to the stick of an excavator. The injector resembles a large fork with hollow tines. The excavator's operator rakes the injector back and forth while reagents continuously flow through the injector's tines. When the proper quantity of reagent has been added, the operator repositions the excavator and repeats the process. Sludge that is mixed with reagent one day gains sufficient strength to support the excavator on subsequent days. Work progresses by solidifying strips of sludge and then using these strips of solidified material to access untreated sludge. Whenever dry powders such as cement are conveyed using air, there is some dust associated with the process. For many projects, this dust is tolerable. However, for projects where dust is not tolerable, reagents can be pre-mixed with water to form a grout and then mixed with the sludge. Rice Environmental has completed hundreds of solidification stabilization projects across the U.S. using injectors to mix reagents with sludge. Please contact us for additional information about our services.